Hello and welcome to Now Streaming, um, the YouTube series where we review movies. Um, so there will be a written review. Um, check out my Let's Vlog today for that. Um, because I explain what's going on with that. In fact, it should be uploaded right about now. Um, but anyways, the movie we are reviewing today is Interstellar. Um, I, I really can't say any more. Um, other than just get into the review, because this is a very, um, touchy movie with spoilers. Um, because the entire movie is basically a huge spoiler. If you say anything about it, it's a spoiler. Um, other than what the synopsis is. So let's get right into it. Um, my experiences with the film Interstellar stop, I start and end with the trailer. The very first trailer that came out with Interstellar. And I have noticed um, that I enjoyed this film a lot more um, the less and less I knew about it. Same happened with In a World. Um, same is happening with a lot of games nowadays. Um, like, what, what game did I... Um, Assassin's Creed Unity. I enjoyed that a lot more since I, since I didn't obsess over what um, the game was going to be or the movie was going to be. Um, I, I mean, I read a few articles, but really, um, nothing there. So anyways, um, yeah, I just watched the trailer, um, and I, I was blown away, but I was like, alright, I might see this, I might not. We'll just have to see when it, what reviews say. That's about 20% of, uh, what I do. When I see a movie, especially since I haven't seen Mockingjay yet, I haven't seen that movie yet. So, the premise of this movie is basically every space age apocalypse movie there is. Um, there are elements from um, 2001: Space Odyssey. There are elements from Signs. There are elements from pretty much any sci-fi movie you can even think of. Um, Apocalypse Now, even. Um, there are just so many um, homages to those. And, and you can tell when it's put on the screen. But anyways. Um, okay, stop showing my text messages on the screen. Thanks. Um, and the plot. Wait, yeah. Well, yeah. Premise, plot, uh, basically same thing. Um, gotta go to space, because Earth is dying, and we gotta figure it out. Um, there we go. But, that's basically the entire movie, I won't say any more, any less. Uh, same thing with the cast, um, Anne Hathaway, Matthew McConaughey, um, Casey Affleck, um, uh, a few unknown actors, uh, Michael Caine, um, is in this, Jessica Chastain is in this, a whole bunch of people are in this, but I feel like in this movie, especially a character I can't talk about right now, um, is very typecast, it's a very typecast cast, um, because I feel like with the direction of this movie, um, Christopher Nolan just says, do what you do best. Just do it. Just do it. And don't ask me for any direction. Just do what you think's best for the character. Which is, from my background, a, not a good way to do things, but a bad way to do things as well. Because if you just tell somebody, interpret this how you want. Interpret this character however you want. It... It creates uh, inconsistency uh, throughout whatever you're doing. If one character doesn't mesh with the other character, and they're actually supposed to mesh together, it's it's just a mess. Um, because let's say I go into Shakespeare um, plays, and then I say I'm gonna be Romeo, 
And, by the way, he's a spiker dude who um, doesn't like girls. He likes guys. Um, and he's got this guy lover, but he really doesn't want to tell him he loves him. That's changing the entire story. And I feel like that's what they did with Interstellar. They just told the cast, be Anne Hathaway, be Matthew McConaughey, be be every every actor, act, acting gig you've ever done. And just put it into this movie. But talk about space a lot. And that's basically your movie. Um, that's basically your cast. Just say, alright, here's all Hollywood's best, and let's typecast them. And it's really unfortunate because you see Anne Hathaway and Matthew McConaughey, the two leads, um, doing things that eh, honestly feel demeaning to them. Um, Matthew McConaughey was in Wolf of Wall Street last year. He was in um, Dallas Buyers Club, two Oscar-worthy uh, nominees. And yet he's doing movies like Interstellar, which are, yes, very cerebral, but um, he's just playing the same character you always plays. Just a, all right, just, just got to look at the stars. All right, all right, all right. Mm-hmm. Like, just doing that little thing he does. He, like, even in some scenes, you, you see him do this. You see, doing that Matthew McConaughey thing so, does, where he just stares at the camera and is like, all right, all right, all right, yeah, all right. And I'm just like, Matthew McConaughey, no. But anyways, we spent a lot of time on cast when we really need to get to the heart of the matter, the sound mix. Um, the sound mix was not an issue for me, but... Given Christopher Nolan's recent comments about if that dialogue has been drowned out, um, the projectionist was doing their job. Well, clearly my projectionist wasn't. Um, or my parents' projectionist wasn't. Um, because neither of us had reported um, anything wrong with the sound mix. It sounded normal to us. Um, instead of... Da, 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 da. Stuff like that. And, and um, I have to criticize Hans Zimmer's score here a little bit. Because, um, yeah, they, it just felt like he fell asleep on an organ. Just like, whoa, okay, pressing random keys. And that's how most of this movie feels like, actually. The plot is... Like, alright, space, okay, check, Matthew McConaughey, check, okay, it's green lit, cool. And I, it almost seems like, even in the writing, um, it is kind of ham-fisted. Now, don't get me wrong, um, I love the plot of this movie, but it feels so samey um, that it doesn't set itself apart. Yes, sure, the photography in this um, movie is gorgeous. Um, but, I mean, a game can be gore. I, a movie can be gorgeous, and then it can have both. Or it can have neither. Or it can have a plot. Or a good photographer. And the movie has. A good photographer, but not a good um, script writer. So, that's pretty much how I felt about Interstellar. I didn't really leave anything out. Um, subscribe, comment, like, all that jazz to now streaming. And bye bye